Welcome to DIY RV and Home Campers Life. My name is Greg. Today we're working on the trailer. Finally, we've been doing quite a bit of work trying to get the house uh, cleaned up, sell up all of our most of our possessions, so we can go full time. Uh, basically, three weeks now. So I'm trying to get some stuff done on the trailer today, and uh, one of the things I want to do is make it a little bit easier for my uh, lab to get in and out of the trailer. Um, or make her feel more secure coming in and out of the trailer. Uh, as with most treads, uh, there is gaps uh, from riser to riser. And uh, when she sees those, she feels that she might be sticking her paw through it. And uh, so she doesn't feel secure. So Torque Lift went ahead and sent us out some of their Safe Step uh, fabric. And what it is, is it's a piece of material that goes back behind each tread to help uh, darken it off so you don't see through, uh, give that perception that there is actually something solid there, make it more of a, give her more of a secure feeling of going in. So I'm gonna just show you, really easy, simple install uh, after viewing the instructions. Uh, there's uh, the original style uh, steps and then there's our style steps, the revolution. So um, anyways, I'm gonna set up the other camera and we're gonna get right into this and start going. All right, so the first thing they're going to ask us to do is go ahead and remove the steps so we can set them upside down and make it easier to work on. I'm going to bypass that step. I'm just going to go straight to the cleaning of it. I think I'll be able to do it this way. Not too bad. So now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean the steps. And yeah, there's quite a bit of dirt on these right now. Uh, pretty good storm come through and <laughs> made a mess of it. But we're going to be able to just go in. And actually, we don't even have to worry about that one. It's this one right here. That we're dealing with we want to go ahead and wipe it down with alcohol because that's where we're going to be attaching our velcro and now taking our velcro strip we're going to go ahead Go back the backing on it. Oh boy. There we go. Gotta get it set in there. This feels like some extremely sticky Velcro, so make sure you're ready to put it down when you do. Okay, there's the first one laid down, just like that. Now, for the second step, we are going to clean the back one and also the front one and put Velcro. I'm gonna get that done and I'll bring you back. Press up. Back around. Do that one more time. <sighs> All I'm doing is I just fold it over, make it a little bit easier. Press it against the Velcro, let it pop down, grab it, roll it up underneath the Velcro itself. There we go. So essentially, what we've done is we've blocked out this area right here. And if they do accidentally step on it, it is going to take a little bit of force to get it to Velcro to come loose. And now my understanding is that we can also just store it like that and travel. 
which it feels like it's going to stow just fine. We've got an extra one. Let's go ahead and get that back out again. There it is. Actually, a fairly easy job. The hardest part was running the camera. So, uh, when uh, I actually get a chance to uh, let uh, our uh, lab in and out of the trailer, see how it does. We'll see how uh, she handles this. Wow. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, button, subscribe, share. Till the next one, happy camping.